All right, dude, let's continue with this landscape. Uh, in the last lesson, we ended up connecting our base color into our layer blend. And this layer blend, to recap a little bit, it's inside our landscape mode. And you can see if I go to paint, I can see my layers. All these layers here are read from here. So this is very important. So if you want to create a new blend, you only need to add a new one. So what we're gonna do here is to, we need to add other sources of information. So there are two ways we can do that. So this is our displacement, this is our roughness, and this is our normal map. So normally what you will do is control C, control V, and then go to here to our normal, roughness connect this one and then connect this one here and then control C control V and then go here and then go to our normal and then connect this one click OK wait for the package save and now you can see like we have our normal map here if I put a light here you can clearly see our map is working so that's one thing here to keep in mind H however this kind of method is very like it's very time-consuming because right now we are only have one material and every time we need to connect this two then when we add another one, we need to create a new one. And what if we add another blend? Let's say now we have two. We need to update all of this to use the new one. So what we're going to do is create a material inside a material. So the way we're going to do this is right click and then make material attributes. And if you compare these two nodes, this are, these are basically the same. Base color, metallic, specular roughness, and so on, blah, 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 until shady model. So actually, this is like a material inside a material. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect these two. We're going here. And now what we're going to do here is to go here, go to our base color, connect it here instead. Our roughness will be here. Let's connect our roughness here. All right. And then our normal map will be here. And also we're going to connect our landscape coordinates. We can either use our landscape coordinates or our coordinate index here. So both of them can work. But if we want to change the tiling of these two then we need to multiply it but let's see now the question is how do i connect this one well instead of putting the base color here you can just connect this one here to the layer blend and there you have our layer blend is working perfectly now we have connect all three into here and this is our base color so what will happen when we apply this one Let's save this one and you will see that nothing has happened but now I also have my normal map here and everything is working as expected. So now I have one material. Let's say I want to add another one. So let's go to our mega scans material instance. Let's try to look for something maybe here to the surfaces let's go to our maybe this one our layer rock round just looks like this okay something like that so what we're gonna do is to put our ground texture so we're gonna add this to add the displacement here and then change this one to wrap just like we did before and what we're gonna do here 
is we're going to change this one to our texture coordinates and we're going to hold M and multiply and then click 1 to create a constant, right click and convert to parameter and this will be our layer 1 tile. By default we will put the 1 here and we will connect this one. So if you hold control here you can move all these nodes here. Alright, so let's remove this one for now. And what we want to do is add another layer blend. So let's duplicate this one, make material attributes. And what we're gonna do here is just connect our new material. So we're gonna connect the base color, we're gonna connect the normal map, and we're gonna connect the roughness. The displacement we're gonna use later. So, what else do we need to do? Well, very simple. We need to duplicate this one. And with this one we're going to call L2 tile. And we are going to connect this one to our texture coordinates. And just connect this to all of these nodes here. Alright. So now, there's something else that we didn't do. Here, we're only connected to our base color. And we need to connect to all of them. So there are two ways to do it. First, we can go to our material here and use, use material attributes. And what this will do is to use all the material attributes. So if we connect those, and then go to our landscape gym, you will see that now our normal is working as expected. Just let it load a little bit. And there you go, now you have your normal map compared to where before we only had our base color. And an other way to do it is let's go back to use material attributes. We can break material attributes. And we can have something like this. We can break this and connect this one to base color, this one to roughness, and this one to normal map. Both methods are okay. Up to you which one you want to use. If we compile, let's take a look at the end result and you will notice that it's the same. There you go, everything is working as expected. So what we want to do now and with this one we will end this video, we will add another layer blend. So we're gonna create a new one and this will be called um, ground zero one. All right, so we will connect this one here, click apply, all right, so we should be good to go. Now what we're going to do is to go to our landscape and you will see that I don't have my layer grass info, so let's save this one, save this. Let's try to open the level again. So let's go to our open level, landscape gym. Let's go to our landscape here. And there you go, just in case it didn't update. So in case you add some new layer blends, make sure you reopen your level. What we need to do is the same. We need to create a layer info. So go right click, wait, blended layer, save everything. And with this tool, now we can, if we go to our base color here, go to paint, we can choose this one, make sure you have the base layer. And then when you paint here, it will load the shader. And there you go. Now we have our new texture. And because you are using a material instance here, what we can do is go to our landscape, control B, and then click on the material instance and then we can change the tiling so what we will do here is to just change the tiling so 0 0.5 maybe 0 0.2 let's check the unlead mode and then this one also 0 0.2 maybe something like that later on we will add more features to change the tiling based on distance and change this blending so the next thing we're gonna do and we're gonna do on the next video you can see our blend here is kind of strange it's like fading out and eventually we get into the new area so we're gonna take care of that in the next video and 
if you like this video give us a like subscribe and let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to see next if you got any questions any kind of project you're working on and you need some help just let us know in the comments and we will try to help you out and i'll see you in the next one